Hello there! One of the most famous tinted lip balms in the world had a glow up last year, so let's explore the Dior Lip Glow formula and extended shade range. My previous video on Dior's Lip Glow oils with a bit of a Lip Glow balm feature is one of my most viewed videos, so this product family attracts a lot of interest and that's only grown thanks to TikTok. More viral beauty products coming soon. Last year Dior reformulated their iconic Lip Glow balms and added a long list of new shades. There's Universal, Pink, Coral, Berry, Raspberry, Ultra Pink, Rose Gold, Rose Wood, Cherry, and Mahogany, one of my 2021 makeup favourites. What is Dior Lip Glow? This cult favourite loved by Hollywood stars and makeup artists is a lip balm that awakens the natural colour of lips with a custom glow and up to 24 hours of hydration. Let's unpack that. The custom glow, that's because these are called colour reviving balms. They react to the moisture level of your lips to create a unique dose of colour that can look slightly different on everyone. The 24 hours of hydration claim, sadly not the case for me. It's meant to be hydrating, long wearing and plumping, only in a smooth looking way. There's no true plumping effect. But I've always said that I found the original a bit sticky and thick, so it wasn't something I wore for hydration, just a kiss of easy colour. What changed in the reformulation? The balm now has 97% natural ingredients. Cherry oil, shea butter, sunflower and rice waxes, plus natural oils like sunflower seed, castor and jojoba, and candelilla wax. It has the same sheen and famous peppermint meets vanilla flavour, but I think the texture transformed slightly. The brand says it was reinvented with a sensorial texture and it feels a touch thinner to me. It still coats the lips, Dior would say, wrap them in a soft cocoon, but it seems to have a little bit more slip than the original, so it feels lighter, smoother, and more comfortable. I never found the original moisturising, but the new tubes are an improvement. Is it something I'd reach for as an actual lip balm now? The answer is still no, but that's partly personal preference. I've read that plenty of people find these really hydrating, and I do keep the clear on my desk now, but if my lips are really dry, I prefer to let a more nourishing balm do the work so I don't get in a mess with a tint. In the end, I'm still thinking of these as an easy, balmy boost when I want something even lazier than a sheer lipstick. Let me know what you think of the formula, and a comparison if you've tried both. The best way to spot old versus new, a tiny packaging change. Instead of the clear embossed Dior lettering all the way up the side, a smaller, stronger pink Dior wraps around the bottom. On to the swatches. Now my videos are always in flat lay form, so while it might be tricky to convey true colours here, you'll get an idea of the tones, and given they react to the pH of your lips, they'll look different on everyone anyway. Having said that, there's some grey area here, or bright pink area, because several shades have a very similar effect on me. Big pink energy. So let's meet them. Triple Zero Universal is a completely clear balm. I do think it gives me a tiny boost of colour, but maybe lips just look healthy and luminous from the sheen. If you really layer this, it almost has a bit of a frosted look, like when you lay a lip balm on overnight and wake up with lips that are a shade or so lighter. 001 Pink is most famous, a classic balm you might remember from my Miranda Kerr makeup bag video. It's described as delicate sheer pink, but to me there's nothing delicate about it. It's always a bright pop of pink on my lips, bordering on bubble gum if I layer it. I really like the technique of applying this over lip liner from my Olivia Rodrigo makeup bag video. 004 Coral is called a luminous sheer coral. I first bought this colour in 2017 because I generally prefer peachy tones to pink, so I'd hoped this would be more of an orange tint than the original pink, but pink is still present here on my lips. It is more of a peachy pop though, so I think I prefer it. 006 Berry is described as a crushed sheer blackberry. I love a good blackberry, see my recent black honey videos as evidence, but this feels like more of a pinky purpley berry. Certainly doesn't reach the depths I'd expect for a blackberry, it's bolder and brighter, so I'd say blueberry maybe. 007 Raspberry is no relation to James Bond, it's the sheer fuchsia of the family, and it is a true fuchsia, vivid purplish pink. Bold pink isn't usually my comfort zone, far from it, but luckily it isn't quite as intense as the bullet. One or two swipes comes across as a my lips but brighter and pinker colour on me. 008 Ultra Pink is slightly unhelpfully called a luminous sheer pink, because at this point you'd be getting the idea that quite a lot of them are luminous sheer and pink. This is where some of them start to blur into one in my mind, particularly because Ultra Pink is so similar to Raspberry above. 
011 Rose Gold is called a delicate sheer pink with gold shimmer. I initially really liked this shade. It was like an upgraded glossier 001 pink above, but the more I've worn it, it's like I've broken through the top layers of balm and dug up a lot of glitter underneath. Really metallic and icy and glittery. 012 Rosewood is the sheer rosy nude of the bunch, but again, pink keeps coming through. When I filmed with the whole Dior Rosewood family, the color did seem more low key and natural, but over time and despite the swatch here, when it's on my lips an almost neon pink core comes through, so it's still bright. 015 Cherry is called a delectable sheer red. As a real red lipstick and sheer red lover, I'd hoped this would mark a turning point into a distinct new color range, but at the risk of sounding like a broken record, this does read pretty pink too. We're talking slight tonal differences, like a berry pink cherry, not as warm and red as the bullet, which I would have loved. 020 Mahogany, last but not least, is called a sheer deep nude, and I'm happy to report that this color is definitely the most distinct, moving into more of a brownie berry color family. I've seen it called a luscious chocolate as well that deepens your natural lip color, but that rosy heart is still there and it leaves a deeper pink tint as it fades, unlike the usual really bright lip glow pink. I remember the days of just pink and coral, so it's certainly an extended family these days. And that's not all. New and or limited edition shades keep popping up in different regions. Slightly harder to track down because they're not available in every country, but keep an eye out. You might see some of these around at the moment. Dior 8, a beautiful brick red, beige, ultra coral, soul scarlet, plum, opal, bronze, ginger red, or coral pink. Overall, the Lip Glow range has a big pink personality. I'd put the original pink, raspberry, ultra pink, rose gold, rosewood, and cherry in the same basket. Clear, coral, berry, and mahogany are easier to differentiate, so I hope future shades will stand out from the crowd too. I'd love to hear if you're a Dior Lip Glow addict. Which shades have you tried? Were they worth the hype or overrated? And is there a similarly large pink cloud hanging over a lot of these, or are the differences more noticeable on you? Let me know your favourites. You can find lots of other tinted balm ideas linked below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.